In this video, we'll derive the formula for the area of a circular sector. Then, we'll use that formula to find the area of this particular sector, which has radius 3 and arc length 4. Now, let's find the formula. Here we have a sector with radius r and arc length l. We'll divide it into smaller congruent parts. Using those parts, we can make the figure on the right. We also want to have an even number of parts, which is in this case 6. That is because we want half of them to face this side and the other half to face that side. Then the length of this curved line is one half of the arc length, so that length is L over 2. And the length of this line segment is equal to the radius, which is R. We divided the sector into six parts and then made this figure from them. But we don't have to divide it into six parts. We can divide it into, let's say, 10 or 20 or 50 parts and make a corresponding figure from them. In each case, the length of the curved line will be L over 2 and the length of the line segment will be R. Here is what it looks like. We see that as the number of parts increase, the figure on the right looks more and more like a rectangle. And not just any rectangle, but a rectangle whose height is r and width is l over 2. The area of that rectangle is l times r over 2, so the area of a circular sector is also l times r over 2. Now, to solve our initial problem, we just need to put 3 and 4 in the formula. So, the area is equal to L times R over 2, and in our case L is 4 and R is 3, so the area is 4 times 3 over 2, which is equal to 12 over 2, and that is equal to 6. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. Can a circular sector have the same perimeter and area as some circle? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.